Here we are together again on the radio. And uh, I'm out to prove something here. I know it'll be uh, disturbing to some. It's something I've always believed and continue to believe. And in fact, I've seen it in my own life. But every once in a while, I need to make an example or I need to uh, illustrate a point. You've heard me say the following on the air. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, take a good long look across the breakfast table. You see that slob, that pig, that skank? Guy who sits there reading the sports page, scratching his balls and stuff. Remember when you were a little girl, you grew up believing that you were going to be Prince Charming? Prince Charming was going to come over with the glass slipper and it was going to fit you and then you were going to ride off on a horse with him somewhere. Remember that? Where well, you thought you were Sleeping Beauty? Right? You had dreams. You had plans. You went to the prom first time you ever dressed up and you looked the best you ever had or at least you made the most of what little you had or whatever. You were photographed. You had flowers, all this money was spent on you, you rode around in the limousine, and you really believed you were a princess. And now look what's happened to you. Look across the breakfast table, and look what's sitting there. This slob who doesn't pay attention to you anymore. There he is. Prince Charming. The man you waited your whole life for. That man sitting across the kitchen table, that's the best you could do. That's it. That's as good as it gets. And here's the worst part. As unappealing as you may find him now, as disappointed as you may be thinking about it from this point of view, realizing you could not have gotten anybody better than this, that water seeks its own level, and this is your level. You are staring into the face of you. He is you. That's the best you could get. You couldn't do better than that. And in fact, girls, think about it. Your value is declining every day. The closer you get to that expiration date, the more days pass beyond the expiration date, the more you're sliding. But the reality is... If that loser you're hooked up with ever bought a lotto ticket and won $50 million, he's moving on up to the east side. You know what I'm saying? He's done with you. Because the fact is, once he has $50 million in his back pocket, he can do better. In fact, um, doesn't that be lotto? That moron, you know, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Isn't that what they used to say? That moron might stumble across a cure for cancer or AIDS or acne. Who knows? He might invent something or do something. Look, I know that you hate him and everything he does is wrong and you're criticizing him all the time. But come on. He can make a mistake. Dom Perignon is the inventor of champagne. Did you know that? That's not just a brand name. That's the name of the guy who discovered champagne by accident. Woke up one day, the wine was left out, and it fermented, and it had bubbles in it. Oh, my God. That's how champagne was, quote-unquote, invented. Freaking guy fell asleep. Woke up to champagne. Okay? So, that moron you're with, the one you're always criticizing, the one you're always nagging, the one who's always wrong, the one who always smells and scratches his butt and all that stuff, that guy could inadvertently do something to generate... Thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. It could happen. Maybe he'll inherit money. You don't know. You realize he looks across the table and sees you the same way. That was as good as I could do. That's why I look at porno. That's why I look at Playboy every month. That's why I get on the internet, download pictures and videos about every fetish. Because I can't look at your aging body, spider veins, the stretch marks, 
the roles of fact. I have to get relief somehow. I have to find it somewhere else. Fact is, though, as men get older, all they need is money, power, or fame. And women, well, they need more than that because... Um, Guys are really not impressed with a woman having money, power, or fame. In fact, most guys think of women who have money, power, or fame as bitches. Demanding, commandeering bitches. Bottom line. So even if a woman won lotto, oh, sure, some guy might uh, have sex with her or some... Why tell her she's beautiful? But the reality is, you're not going to marry anybody, and if you do marry them, they're not going to marry you without a prenup. They want your money, baby. That guy who you are always criticizing, who sits across the table from you, he's only with you because he can't afford any better. That's the only reason. And I don't care what level you are, as we say when I talk about wines on my weekend show. I don't care what price point you're at, okay? Fact is, if he makes $25,000 a year, he thinks if I made 35000 I could have somebody prettier. Somebody younger, somebody hotter. The $50,000 a year guy knows if he made 75000 he'd get a better grade of chick. The six-figure man, 100000 imagine being a quarter million man. What kind of chicks you could get? The guy who makes half a million a year, if he was making two million a year, he'd be doing better. And the two million dollar a year guy, if he had the money of Warren Buffett or Bill Gates, he'd have married somebody a lot hotter. <laughs> no doubt about it. Now, of course, you're going to say, oh, what about love, Tom? What about love? But the fact is that people always say the politically correct thing when they are under the gun and you're looking them in the eye. But when they are anonymous and they can call a radio program, they tend to tell the truth. Because nobody's going to laugh at them and no one's going to give them a hard time. And their wives will still sleep with them tonight because the wife will never know they called in. So they tend to tell us the truth. So ladies, for this hour, sit back, relax, put your feet up because we're not going to take any of your calls this hour. Guys, here is the question. If one day soon you came into millions of dollars, I don't care how you did it, would you trade up? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Hey, Sassy, you're really cooking tonight. I'm cooking with gas, baby. <laughs> right on. It's the Tom like it show. Tom like it show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I hold that uh, the majority of men would trade up if they could afford better. That they're only with the woman they're with because it's the best they could do with the money and resources, the level of power or success they have. Kenny, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Kenny. How you doing, Tom? Do you care, Kenny? I care a lot. You're my dad. I'm doing great, son. Okay, Tom, I would definitely trade up. With that much money, I could not... Don't need to have a nagging wife that's saying, well, this is the way you met me. You met me chunky. Trading on up. So you admit that you're only with her because when you met her, that was the best you could do. That was the best I could do. I want somebody that's going to make my friends envious by the way she looks. Somebody that's going to be hot and smoking. Somebody I can fantasize about. And the only reason you haven't left her now is because you can't afford to get rid of her. That's, that's going to be halfway true, yes. That and, uh, you know, uh, married too early, child too young. It's just money that's separating you from that uh, that uh, trophy wife that you've always dreamed of. Hey, vagina money and child support? Uh-huh. I'd have to be living with a roommate or something. Look at you. Man. Kenny, I'm not surprised. Me neither, Tom. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Todd on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Todd, how's it going? Long-time listener. Thank you, Todd. Listen, I'm, I'm one of probably an exception, but I probably would not go for it. I've been married 15 years. I'm an attorney. I'm successful. But my feeling is that I don't think I can find a woman I would want to live with. 
Uh, I mean, superficially, they look hot. You might want to sleep with them, but uh, then you have to wake up with them, and then you have to deal with them. And if you're wealthy... Um, yeah, but you might, just, when I say trade up, I don't necessarily mean you'd replace her with one specific person. You might just get a divorce and play the field, because imagine the women you could get. I know that. I, <laughs> I believe me, I thought. But the reality is, I think ultimately, when, you all, when it all comes down to I think we all want someone that we can be intimate with in a way that is sort of unique or, you know, it takes a while for you know, someone to kind of get learn the, learn the tricks of the trade. And, I mean, women are wonderful. They're great to be with. But I think if you want, eventually I think you'd like to develop a relationship with just one, if you can. And even with but five, imagine you, how hot a chick you could have gotten if you had $50 million. You could get a hot chick, but you could also get yourself a, a headache dealing with the the grief that goes with the... Why do you assume that you'd have grief with a hot chick? There are hot chicks who are cool. <laughs> They're probably not. I've known hot chicks that are cool. Well, they're far fewer in between. Boy, they got a... Boy, now, by the way, Dean makes a very good point. If you have a hot chick who's a pain in the ass, trade her in for another hot chick. Right, right, but I mean... You know, it's one thing. Don't you like going to a restaurant where they know you and uh, they don't even have to bother with the menu? Not that I like better than trying new food, new chefs, new right. cuisines. But you take the I like getting a little bit of my Thai, a little bit of my Indian. Yeah, but you take I like food. getting a little bit of my Colombian and my Venezuelan and my Argentine. I, I, come on, I like trying different cuisines. Oh, absolutely, but... I like eating out all the time. <laughs> Boy, I have your favorite chef. Just and most of... women out there know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe I'm just, I've only just been doing been married for too long. I just think of the um, overall imbalance. It wouldn't be, as, it wouldn't be, it would be. Did you of... see Super Size Me? Imagine eating at McDonald's every day, three meals a day. Come on. Yeah, but if you're eating good fresh. Food... Every once in a while, you want to hit the old Burger King or Wendy's or something. Come on. Right, but if you're eating good French cuisine every day. Or in my case, Del Taco. <laughs> but I mean, of course, the chicks I've dated has been more like El Pollo Loco. You know what I'm talking about? Absolutely. Right. But you know, but you know, it's like anything else—a new car, anything new. It's great for a few minutes, but eventually, you like to have your old '66, you know, Shelby or something. I parked that in the garage while I'm busy tooling around in something that has that new car smell. <laughs> right, but eventually. Eventually, you know, it needs service, so it needs, it's, I don't know. It's so every once in a while, you do a little Jiffy Lube on it, and then you uh, move on. No, but I agree, I mean, for the most part... Jiffy Lube know. every 3,000 miles, baby. <laughs> I I tend to agree with you, but I think, ultimately, it's just, for me, I mean, I played the field heavily before I got married, and when I did get married, I thought I picked the right one, and I think for all the women out there, I think Tom is right. You got to be great in the sack. He's not even interested in the ring on the finger until they're great in the sack, and uh, they have to learn that. Uh, and, and they have to stay good. And they know if they're good, that you know, you're not going to stray. That's just my advice for the boys. Todd, thank you. All right, but appreciate the call. Kurt on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. How are you, my buddy? I'm okay, Kurt. I am uh, really glad to talk to you, my friend, because I completely agree with you 100 percent. So, uh, what would happen if you won, like, you know, Lotto, for example, got a big eight-figure check? Tom, i tell you what, most guys would leave for about a $2 check if they could just get out of their house and still keep it and some of their materials that they have. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to be rich to get out of it, but I don't want to lose everything, you know? Uh -huh. Half a paycheck every extra week would be nice, and I would leave in a heartbeat, and most guys would. So your biggest incentive for staying is that you get spanked financially if you left. Listen, I'm going to end up giving at least half the house, half the cars, half the material things, and then I'm going to be living in an apartment. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to be driving half a car that I used to. Right. I'm not going to have the toys. Guys are stuck once they get involved, and if they get money... And you like, know what they I say, Kurt. Lot. You know what they say. You know why divorce is so expensive. Exactly. It's not any. Most it's because it's after, worth it. It is. It's too hard to, after you get entrenched with a woman for a long time, and if you don't have the means to leave, and I mean the means is money, you're stuck. Unless you want to go back to your high school days, living in a one bedroom apartment, and and, and you know driving the piece of junk car around again. Well, there you it, go. You have to get so the money. You, you'd trade up if you could. 
Oh my God, Tom! I don't even need to hit the lotto. You know, just give me give me twenty grand or fifty extra grand a year, and I'm out. Really? <laughs> Listen to you. There are women out there think they're all that. They have no idea how many guys feel this way. Hey, listen, let me tell you, Tom, I'll tell you what, women are the same way because I have an ex. I was only married once before for 15 years, right. and she moved one guy in, he didn't have a lot, kicked him out, moved one guy in, kicked him out, didn't have a lot. A guy dated two weeks, she saw his bank account, and she was married two weeks later because he had a whole lot of dough. Oh, boy. Women uh, trade up just as easy. Yeah, well, the difference is, though, that, uh, again, I don't think guys marry women for money, power, or fame. I, I think guys are with women because they're hot. Guys are with women who take their clothes off and just get them all aroused. And, uh, you know, if you had some porky chick who um, was an attorney and made a good living, you, you probably would not leave your wife for her. You know, you're probably absolutely right. Now, listen, it depends how much money they have, because so much money could make the uh, looks a little bit better, you know? Porky, maybe 20 or 30 pounds I might live with. 150, yes. she's got to make about 8 mil a year, you know what I mean? At least. Thank you, Kurt. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Alan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, how Alan. You? Doing okay? Good. Uh, the question is, yeah, I trade up. I trade up in a heartbeat. Um, had a relationship, lived together for about seven years, and it was basically calm a lot. So she kind of said, oh, let's get married, and went ahead and did that. And eight years later, it's just a different different picture. I don't, you know, it's like one of your callers earlier mentioned about girls need to be hot in bed. Well, you don't think I was with her because she wasn't hot in bed. Mm -hmm. but boy, do they cool off after, you know, that many years, it seems. Yeah. So it seems. At least that's my experience. Yeah, right? uh -huh. I trade up in a heartbeat. Really? Really? Uh, now, again, do you think women would be surprised if they knew how many men feel this way? I think so. And, you know, I think there's a little bit more activity out there that goes, that, that's, that's not well known either. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm I'm trading every now and then myself just to keep my interest level up. But, mm -hmm. you know, that the dough it cost me to, 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 you know, get rid of her is un unbelievable. And so, but, but here's the deal. If you, if you could afford it, you would do it. In a heartbeat. Yeah, you would do. You wouldn't think twice. Yeah, it's, it's a, what was that one? Uh, she uh, served her purpose a few years ago, but uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's the nagging wife across the breakfast table. That thing, everything. I, I've asked her, hey, why don't you make a list of what I do right besides bringing the dough? <laughs> and she's probably got problems with that too. Yeah, yeah, it's probably not enough. Uh, she, she does fit more than I make. That's for sure. Alan, thank you. You bet. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Adam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Doc? Okay. Hey, uh, i got to say, man, I, I might be in the minority, but I think I'd stay put. Even with a $50 million check? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I love my ladies. Her and I have been up through a lot together. We've been through the poor times and good times, and I, I can't think anybody else I'd rather spend it on than her, so I think I'd stay put. How long have you been together? Uh, about nine years. Nine for years. Three. Married for three. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so you're married. telling me you could not have done better? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm pr I lucked out, man. I lucked out. Couldn't get anybody hotter? No, I don't think so. Really? She, is she I a mean, 10? I, I think she's a 10. I mean, it's all, no. I don't know, it's all what you think, right? <laughs> uh, well, I also tend to believe when you're in a relationship, you try to convince yourself of things like that. Yeah, maybe, but, I mean, we get along great and, you know... I love being with her. She Have you traveled a lot, other. Adam? What's that? Have you traveled a lot? A little bit. Not a whole lot, but a yeah. little bit. So you've mostly been in the Buffalo area? Yeah, mostly. There's a lot hotter chicks in some parts of the world. Yeah, I know that, dude. But, you know, the bottom line is I'm happy. Uh, you know, I think she's happy. So, I mean, I look around. Everybody looks, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, dude, I, I hate the chase, too, man. Like, I could be chasing for 10 games. If you had $50 million, you wouldn't be chasing anybody. They'd be chasing you. Yeah. Even though, and I, even if for like three nights, if I'm you know all alone, I get one every other four, you know, every fourth night or every third night, even I'd still rather be with her every night just to have somebody with every night. And I don't know, it's, I'm I'm fine the way I am. All right, well, it's very heartwarming, Adam. All right, cool, man. Thank you, <laughs> Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Professor. Hello, Michael. Long time, first time. Thank you. Yeah, married for two years. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't leave her, but I definitely cheat on her. You wouldn't leave her? No, but I definitely did. Because, you know, she cleaned me up. I was a, a crackhead, you know? 
Uh huh. She cleaned me up. You know, made me fine. So to, to to pay her back for that, uh, you would just cheat on. It. Yeah, I see. You know, spend a couple of million to show how much you appreciate that. Yeah, for cleaning me up. You know, setting my head straight. Right. Well, you could just divorce her and give her a couple of million and say, "Hey, thanks for cleaning me up." Yeah, but um, I actually want to wake up with someone next to me every night. You know, at, at least her because. Yeah, but now that now that you're off crack, imagine uh, the the now your judgment is so much clearer. Imagine the hot chicks you could get now. Yeah, I mean I can get them with uh, without the millions, you know, because I'm a hot guy. I mean, because when I was going to yeah, but they wouldn't marry you like oh, this chick not. did. Well, no, that's not you not know. unless you have the fifty million. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Then they would. Mm hmm. But professor, I would love to have coffee with, with you one day and chit chat all day long. Look at you. But I gotta get back to work, sir. All right, Michael. Thank you, huh? Appreciate the call, Rich, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Rich. Long time, first time. Thank you. I'd uh, I'd be gone in a minute. You would be gone in a minute. But first, I'd find a good lawyer. Right. That would protect the fifty million, so oh. I wouldn't have to split it. You'd need a good one. It would have to be. I don't know right. how they do that. Would they have to have you put it in your mom's bank account or something? I don't know how they do that. Something like that, I guess. I don't know. No idea. I'm not an attorney. Yeah. But, uh, yep, even though uh, it's been a long time, I'd, I'd still be gone. So uh, you're you're only there because you really have done as well as you can do. I think so. But if you could do better, you would do better. Exactly. See, there are lots of women who are married to guys love to say, oh, I could have done much better. But they're, they're, they're lying to themselves. Uh, we have all do as well as we can do. And if we could do better, we would do better. That's, that's exactly the case. They're just, they're just fooling themselves. Yeah, you are right about that. Tom Likas. What they hundred five eight hundred. Tom Likas. What they hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Ninety percent of the world believes in a higher form, a deity of some sort. Ninety percent of the world eats at the Olive Garden. Does that make it good food? The Tom Likas Show. Yeah, from Los Angeles, the Tom Likas Show. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Don't forget, boys' night out. We're about five weeks away now. It's Friday, June 17th at 8 p.m. We'll turn theater here in Los Angeles. And um, I am your MC as well as the producer of this event. Along with our headliner, Bobby Slayton. And uh, it's for the guys only. So um, no girls. Don't bring the girls. We're not kidding. The comedians will brutalize you if you bring them. We're going to talk like guys. And we're not going to worry about it being politically correct. We're going to say what we want, and I'm going to say things I could never say on the radio. As will the rest. You don't want to miss this. It's Boys Night Out. It's Friday, June 17th. That's Father's Day weekend. Hey, bring your dad. Now, that that would make more sense than bringing some chick, I'll tell you what, at 8 p.m. Or bring your son, for that matter. There's no age limit. So if you got a son who's 10 and you want him to see how the boys uh, really are and how they really ought to be, this will be the night. Boys Night Out for tickets call Ticketmaster 213-480-3232. That's 213-480-3232. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Boys, you're only with the woman you're with now in most cases because you can't afford to do better. But what if you could afford to do better? What if you got a big fat check? You won the lottery. You invented some product. You, you made a fortune. You inherited a lot of money. What would you do? David on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, David. I think I'd have to trade up. I'd have to trade up for a Harley. <laughs> You'd trade I'm up not, for a Harley? <laughs> I might take a couple of sweet-looking women every, you know, every once in a while, but <laughs> that bike ain't never going to talk back and take nothing from you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in everything you ever said. You know, when you got when you get married... They don't. They don't put out. They don't care no more. Yeah, so you would. You would trade that. up. You would. You would trade up for sure. That's. That's right. I think chicks have no idea. If we had money, we'd be out the door. I'd be on a bike heading down South Dakota somewhere. You. I'd be gone in a heartbeat. I'll bet you would. I think most of us would. Thank you, David. Thank you, Leo. On the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Hey, hey, show me the money, Tommy. Where is it? <laughs> Let's have it. If you can show me the 50 mil, I can show you a great time. So you're only with the wife because you can't afford better. Ah, uh, you know what? You can afford better, you know, but you love her and all. But then, you know what? If you got that money, you can get anywhere, go anywhere. Go to Costa Rica. Go to Jamaica. You can go anywhere you want. Right. And that's the way it is. I mean, you know what? Just think about it. If you gave them fifty million dollars, you think that they would that they would stay with the man that they're with? They may give him a couple of mil and say, "See you later." That's that's the way life is. Mm hmm. It's the way the woman is. Good point, Leo. Thank you. This is Martin on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Okay. No, I wouldn't leave her. You would not leave. I would not leave her. We uh, we get along great. Uh, I could get better as far as looks, but I couldn't get better as far as character and warm heartedness. And uh, she supports me. And uh, man, I you know I mean she supports I, I, you financially. No, no, she supports me. No, no, we both have jobs, but no, she does not support me financially. But she supports me in other ways, you know. And I've been with hot chicks, with real hot chicks, and most of them are freaks, you know. And, really. Uh, so, most uh, hot so chicks would, are freaks? Yeah, most of them are freaks. Most hot women, like you say, they're insecure, they're inadequate, and uh, they got baggage. I know there's a lot of that out there. Yeah, and... Well, my but then wife, when they take their clothes off, you're with a hot chick! <laughs> What's that? Then when they take their clothes off, you're with a hot chick! Yeah, but my wife is pretty. We compliment each other, uh, we look good together, and uh, uh, we're just good together. I, I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. All the money in the world? <laughs> no, I would At least you'd cheat. You could afford a good hotel room to be discreet about. Yeah, you know, I think I might be tempted, but when it came right down to it, I, I, I think my conscience would get in the way of that. Mm. You I know? See. So, no, I, I, I probably wouldn't when it, if, when it boiled right down to it, if it would boil right down to it. I see. So. All right, Martin. Okay. Th hey, nice talking to you, Tom. I know. 1-800-5800-TOM. Don A. on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Don A. I don't know what to do. See, I'm on the other side of this road. I'm trying to get rid of him. I have a whopping huge 60 grand I just came into. He doesn't know about it, but I want him to hit the road, and I don't have any clue. How to Is get that because him. you got the money? Well, absolutely. So you would stay if you didn't get the money? Yeah. But because you have the money, now you want to get rid of him? Absolutely. And uh, how hard would that be? Uh, it's very hard. Like yeah. right now, we have a condo. We're trying to sell it. And uh, not quite sure where we're going to move to, but I, I don't know. Well, it's, if you want to leave, why move anywhere? Sell the condo and get out. Well, that's the thing. We that's the perfect time to go. <laughs> Easier said than done, though. Why is that? Well... That just means that we have to spend all this time liquidating everything that we have. and. Um, but then you'll be on your own, free. <laughs> free to be with any man you want. <laughs> I know. Somehow I get the feeling you've already been with one or two. <laughs> or three. <laughs> or three. <laughs> you know why I know your type, dear? Because I've, I've been with your type. Really? Yes, I have. <laughs> and how was it? I, oh, spectacular. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, are you kidding me? I've been with those of you who have a hard time leaving, so in the meantime, just have a little fun on the side. I know your time. Oh, yeah. I can okay. tell by your tone of voice. I knew you were one of them. <laughs> but is that a bad thing? Well, I, I don't, you know what? Because I've been such a bad boy, I don't really comment on what's good or bad. <laughs> I'm not in a position to comment on that. Really? It was good for me at the time. Yeah, most definitely. See that? So uh, you are you already got one foot out the door. So have any ideas? For getting out? Yeah. Just call it. You'll get, 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 log on to eBay and sell like crap and be done with it. <laughs> All right. All right. Then you can afford a nice hotel room and you can call me up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can I reach you at this number? You know where to get me. All right, Tom. All right, Donnie. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. This is Bob on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First time, long time. Thank you, Bob. 
We're uh, first of all, let me say we're majorly excited about getting you in Dallas next week. I can't well, wait. As you, it's not next week; it's this week. Uh, it's this week. That's right. Yeah, it, it, it was such a success last time, and we are way excited to have you down coming back to Texas. Thank you so much. We never have more fun than coming to Texas. Well, Tom, I tell you, I've got to side with some of the guys that say they'd have to stay right where they're at. Uh, I did trade up, and uh, I didn't get a 10. I got a five-time pageant winner that was a 14 that made about 50000 a year more than I did. And along with that came the vanity, came the high maintenance, and it was all about me syndrome. And, and I have to tell you, it just wasn't worth it. I mean, I had the big house. The, you know, I had 50, 60 shirts. I had, you know, the wardrobe that, that would kill most anybody in California. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, it just wasn't worth it. Really? Yeah. You know, it, 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 it was kind of like having a vintage 66 Mustang in the garage with a broke transmission. <laughs> now, you see, though, how many people, they just haven't done it. You've already done it. So that's why um, you say you wouldn't do it. There. But you'll hear what the other guys are all saying. Most of them are saying they would trade up. Well, Tom, you know, and, 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 and of course, I'm a little older than most of the guys calling in. Been there, done there, got the T-shirt, and I'm telling you, my friend, it was just not worth it. Wow, wow. And, uh, you know, they, they don't get any hotter than this, this this lady was that I was married to. I mean, I'm telling you, on a scale of 1 to 10, she was a 14. And uh, just a drop-down, you know, 8% body fat and just drop-down gorgeous. But along with that came... All it's all about me. Did you take any? Did you take any digital pictures while she was with you? Uh, well, you know that that was part of the problem. I mean, she was so vain about herself. Uh, she had plenty of pictures all over the house about her. And so, you know, the the the, the bedroom pictures, like I said, the broke transmission. And uh, you know, now I have a lady that's uh, at, that's closer to a ten than she is a fourteen, but. Every night, my friend, any time, any way, any way, that it, it, it's just phenomenal. And I would give all of that extra stuff up because I don't have the baggage now of having to worry about it's all about me. And, and, and notice me and the vanity and everything else that comes along with it is just not worth it. Well, I hear you, Bob. Hey, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. All right, guys, if you uh, got the money... Big check from somewhere. Would you trade her in? Michael, you're on the Tom Liger Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay, Michael. All right. Hey, uh, I'm actually sticking around for the money. She stands to get quite a big inheritance, and uh, once that happens, then I'm gone. So you're just waiting until the inheritance... Now, yep. uh, now you should check with an attorney because I think that inheritances may be in some states um, uh, uh, immune to uh, community property laws. Well, see, I kind of figured I'd stick around for a while and and uh, soak it up and buy all my toys and everything, and then just a year down the road or whatever, just file for it. Look at that! Wow! 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 Yeah. So that now, by the way, when did the love end? You did marry her, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh huh. And how long did it take you to figure out you made a big mistake? Uh, about six months. Six months. Six now, months. did you know she was going to get the inheritance six months in? Um. Not well. Actually, yeah, I knew how much they sold the house for five million dollars, and. Uh, we get a third of that, so um, I found that out about a year after. So, um, in that um, in that twelve months, wh- what kept you there? Um, you know what? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I still question myself today, but once I found that out, it just made it a little bit easier to swallow the pain. <clears throat> Unbelievable! Mm-hmm. Thank you for the call. You hear what the predominance of men uh, are saying? They are saying that uh, they would trade in. They would trade up. They would go for the trophy one. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.